farmers face the constant challenge of watering their fields efficiently, which is why drones, satellite imagery, and AI are increasingly becoming tools of their trade. Can I use it to detect areas in a crop that are not getting the nutrients necessary and starting to fail? Can I advance that very quickly? The answer is yes, you can. Tech company Bionix, based in the U.S. state of Kansas, equips farmers with smart sensors to track everything from livestock locations to the moisture level in grain silos. AI is taking soil analysis one step further. The sensors are actually sampling soil and they're able to figure out how much nitrogen is present in the soil. What needs to be done with that value is where AI will come into play. Make a statement saying that, you know what, your nitrogen levels are too low or your phosphorus levels are too low and it's time to fertilize. While AI can provide analysis and insight on what course of action to take, that also leads to the next step being a part of that physical action that happens in the fields. That's where AI and robotics come into play. RoboVision is providing an AI-driven platform that allows machines to see. Inside greenhouses and vertical farming facilities, RoboVision software is enabling automated machines to recognize, pick, cut, sort, and plant on a large scale. The data is used to build models, you know, to, to teach the AI what is a stem, what is a leaf, uh, what is a nod, what is a flower, what is ripeness, so that it can make decisions on cuts based on really understanding what those things are. The Belgium-based company is in 40 countries around the world using AI to automate tasks such as fertilizing and harvesting. It's now in the process of opening a U.S. office with the goal of bringing its computer vision platform to outdoor farming. It will change you know, how much resources we need, whether it's water or, or greenhouse gas uh, impact, and it will change the yield of things. The ultimate vision is that you can decide per plant how much water, how much food it needs, that you can have biodiversity. All of the things that are quite difficult today can be solved with AI. When discussing whether that will eliminate jobs, Van de Driesa points out it's already difficult getting enough workers. Their aim is to better harness and scale both human and robotic labor to produce a higher and more sustainable yield. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.